Now in this part of the question then, we've got to differentiate with respect to x the natural log of x squared plus 1 all divided by x squared plus 1. Now to do this don't go heading off and just write dy by dx equals because it's undefined at the moment. You've got to give this a letter if you're going to do that. And if you want to find dy by dx, then you've got to say let y equal this. You could let z equal this if you like, and you'd then go on to say, therefore, dz by dx equals. So let's define this. Let's say we let y equal this function here. So how are we going to differentiate this? Well, we've got two functions of x being divided by one another and so what we need to use is the quotient rule and if you're unfamiliar with the quotient rule you can always go on my website and find a tutorial on that and I explain it to you or we can just quickly run over it here essentially if you've got y equals u over v where u and v are two functions of x u being in this case the top here and v being the bottom it can be shown that dy by dx essentially equals the bottom of the function, that would be v, times the differential of the top, du dx, minus the top times differential of the bottom, that's u dv dx, all divided by the bottom squared, that's v squared. So that's essentially the quotient rule. So we'll just draw a line down there so we can put our notes in here. Okay, so let's get back to differentiating this. So we can go straight in and say, therefore, dy by dx equals. So we have the bottom, v, multiplied by the differential of the top of the fraction. So we've got the bottom, x squared plus 1, multiplied by the differential of the top. Now, to differentiate the natural log of x squared plus 1 requires the chain rule. And you might be able to do this straight off. And I'm going to do it straight off, basically, by the chain rule. But if you've got problems with this, I will explain it at the end of the video. I'll take it through a little bit slowly. But if I was doing this myself, what I would do is say, right, OK, this is the natural log of t. And I know that to differentiate the natural log of t, you get 1 over t. So I would write 1 over what t was, and that would be x squared plus 1. I'll put that in brackets, and we now multiply by the differential of what I nominated t to be, which was x squared plus 1, and that, when differentiated, becomes 2x, and this goes to 0, so that would be 2x. So when I differentiate the natural log of x squared plus 1, I get 1 over x squared plus 1 times 2x. But as I say, I'll explain that slowly at the end of the video. So we've got the bottom times differential top. Now we have minus top times differential the bottom. So we put minus. So the top, which is the natural log of x squared plus 1. I'm going to put that in brackets. Okay, I'd always put everything in brackets. Otherwise, you're likely to get ambiguous statements. So it's top u times differential of the bottom. Differential of the bottom is just going to be 2x, so 2x there. And all this is divided by the denominator squared, so we'll just find space here, all over the bottom, x squared plus 1, and that's all squared. Okay, so basically I've differentiated, and we should get some marks for that. Now we need to clean this up. We've got two terms, one term here, one term here on the top. So let's see what we can do for this first term. Well clearly the x squared plus 1 and the x squared plus 1 here, that's quite fortunate. They cancel out, so we'll just put that there, 1 and a 1. So that leaves us with 2x. Let's just write that in. We end up with 2x. And for the second term, we can write the 2x now in front of the natural log without the brackets there. So we haven't got an ambiguous statement. So the natural log of x squared plus 1. 2x times natural log of x squared plus 1 then all over x squared plus 1 all squared. 
Okay, well that's essentially it. I suppose if you wanted to, you could pull out 2x as a common factor. Um, if you do do that, I'm not necessarily saying I would do that, but if you did, 2x comes out the front. I'll put a square bracket there. 2x times 1 gives the 2x, and then minus the natural log of x squared plus 1. And that's all divided by x squared plus 1, all squared. Okay, so either that answer or that answer I'm sure would do. And uh, let's just go back anyway and show you how to differentiate the natural log of x squared plus 1. Okay, it's done by the chain rule. So just remind you here, chain rule. You should know that uh, if you're trying to find dy by dx using the chain rule, it's going to be dy by some dummy variable, say dt. As long as you multiply it by the same dt here, by dx. This is if these cancel, just leaves you with dy by dx. So, if we had y equals the natural log of x squared plus 1, and we needed to differentiate this, I would think of this as y equals the natural log of t, where t was equal to the x squared plus 1. So when it comes to finding dy by dx, dy by dx is dy by dt. So we have natural log of t, as we have here. Differentiate, differentiation, I should say, of natural log of t is 1 over t. So that would be 1 divided by what t was, which is x squared plus 1. Put that in brackets. And then we need to multiply it by dt by dx. t was equal to x squared plus 1. And if you differentiate this with respect to x, you just get 2x. So I hope that explains to you how I was able to differentiate the natural log of x squared plus 1. Gave me this part here. All right. Okay, well that brings us to the end of this part in the question.